Hello there students, welcome back to this video series. This is your instructor Dhruvi Bhatt and today I would be talking about a very 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 important return document without which you wouldn't be able to go there out in the job fair or the job market. To make sure that you are portrayed very nicely, very elegantly and very correctly, you need something known as a resume. Our today's topic would be how you can write these resumes, what is meant by resume writing and how they would be your mirror image to the employees. Starting with, let us try to know that what exactly a resume is. Resume are technical as well as marketing documents that present the candidates past and present performance to the prospective employees so that they can access his future potential. You can say that actually resumes are what you have earned till date. Your resumes are picture of you, your educational background, your experiences. It is your first face off with your employer. Your resumes will be the entering door to your dream job. To make sure that you crack this job, you need to make amazing resumes. Because this is the first interaction of you with your employer, it must be crafted very nicely, very correctly and very promptly. Today I would be giving just few tips. Just go to any website and you would find hundreds of templates to make your resume. No big deal there. But you would require some of the tips from me here to make amazing resumes. And of course to pass your exams first things first let us understand that what is the difference between a resume a cv curriculum vital and a bio data most significantly all these three words are used interchangeably but only by the people who don't know that they are different resumes are generally a short description of a person which includes work experience and along with that, the educational background of that person. What is a CV? Curriculum vital is something that is designed by those who are research enthusiasts, those who want to work for a research organization or who want to carry a research in future, design a curriculum vital. It is a more detailed description of your resume. If you have attain some conferences, if you have returned some research papers, your curriculum would have the details of all these things. The resume would only mention the number of papers you have returned, the number of conferences you have attained or the number of books you have returned. God forbid if you write so. But curriculum describes each of them, which are the areas in which you did your research which are the things which you explored, which are the conferences, seminars and workshops. The details are mentioned in your CV. The bio data. Bio data is more traditional term and is only used not when you apply for a job, but when you are giving your biographical information to get married. This more consists of more personal information about you, like your height, weight, your vitals, like what is your birth date, what is your age. It is less formal in nature and more informal. As I told you, it is used for the matrimonials. So we would not be talking about bioreters in this lecture. We are more focused upon resumes. Let's move forward and try to see that how is the resume designed and what is the structure of a resume. Resume consists of different different elements. I would explain to you each of these elements make sure that your resumes contain each of them very nicely first and foremost obviously appearance and all the elements must be specifically placed there you can see here the difference between two resumes I have presented the second one is better right the more modern organization the better as 
any type of formal documents your resumes too must be impeccable must be very organized must be printed on a very good a4 size paper must have well organized content which is readable in very formal fonts okay make sure that your resume like any other formal document is very well structured and it gives the glimpse of your tidiness and correctness do not have any spelling mistakes do not have any scribbles or any unnecessary white spaces there it would be a bad impression secondly your resume would be consisting of your personal information as little as possible your name your address your phone number your email ids make sure that the information you provide is genuine your prospective employers would be interested in this information that what is your phone number or what is your address maybe so make sure you provide your genuine information there make sure you provide an email id which is professional looking volcano2015 at the rate hotmail.com is not a very good email id to be written on a resume make sure that you do not include your present employee or any email ids or websites while you are applying somewhere else it would be better if you keep present employers away from the next employers until and unless you get that new job moving forward the third element of interest is career or professional objective this is somewhat optional in nature but i wouldn't suggest skipping it out many of the recruiters like the people who have very strong and clear career objectives clearly state the career objective with proper passion like i want to be appointed at a junior position in microprocessor design but i want to advance in the next few years as a team lead or a project manager clearly state the objective and clearly make sure that it is not very vague in nature okay moving onwards the next element of interest is your educational or academic background whatever is your educational qualifications your grades your marks from where did you pass out your bachelor's your masters everything for what you toiled all these years all those exams all those sleepless nights this is where they will reflect so make sure you mention them your previous work experience or professional skills what is the work experience that is related to current job must be mentioned here how skillfully did you handle different projects there also must be there moving forward make sure you mention all the activities membership achievements any special achievements or any special aptitude skills which you possess but only if they are relevant to the current job i can mention my certificates or awards which i got in web designing if i am applying for a web designing job there is no use mentioning an achievement as lead guitarist if you are applying for a web designer job keep things relevant also while you are mentioning your hobbies keep things relevant mentioning swimming as your hobby will take you nowhere mentioning internet surfing blogging as your hobby if you are applying for technical jobs would be useful make sure you keep things relevant irrelevant things would go out of notice lastly in your resume you will mention reference of course for privacy purposes you can write that references will be provided on request right it is not necessary that you mention the references right away because reference check is again conducted at last in the last round of selection process recruitment process after a candidate is already selected his reference check is is done make sure that references are genuine instead of mentioning some celebrity whom you know mention some person whom you work with he or she would be able to justify your work ethics and your work culture much, much more correctly moving forward let us see that what are different types of resumes which you can write 
basically students there are two types of resumes the traditional resumes which all of us are aware of and the latest modern non traditional types of resumes each one of these have further categories starting with the traditional resumes traditional resumes are basically of four types first first of which is chronological resume chronological resume is a resume which more focuses on your educational background and professional experience here starting from your latest professional experience and starting from your latest educational degree you would move to the earlier period if you are applying for a job which is related to your current career growth or to your current experience or to your academic qualifications you will follow chronological resume format this format is what recruiters are commonly aware of okay this is the format which is known and adopted worldwide in this type of resume starting from your latest education or your latest experience you would go to your previous experiences or previous degrees like for example here as you can see the latest education is mentioned first and previous education later on similar is the case where they have mentioned the work experience mention everything in short space or in little amount of space in little words okay do not make it too long it is advisable to keep your resume to one page maximum two pages longer than that would be too boring for the recruiters and you would get a minus point for making too long resumes no one has that kind of time right but students if you are looking for a career change or if you are fresher in this market obviously you do not have any previous experience then go for a functional resume in this type of resume you would mention your skills first that what are the different types of skills which make you suitable for this particular job in spite of your varied experiences not particularly in this particular field you have achieved certain skill set due to which you are applying for this particular job will be showcased in a functional resume it more focuses on functionalities and the skills despite of your educational background or your experiences once you have mentioned your skills properly after that you can go and mention your educational background and experiences very shortly okay very precisely do not go into details details are required where you mention your skill set and from where you acquired that skill and proof of that skills you can give one or two examples that i managed certain type of project in my previous work as a team leader and i got an award as a team leader whatever make sure that your functions your skills are very much highlighted in this type of resume moving forward to the third type of resume which is the hybrid or combination of our functional resume and chronological resume here the best of both of them are taken up and we are trying to create a hybrid there are two ways in which hybrid can be created firstly in chronological order each of your work experiences are listed and obviously in descending chronological order yes each of your work experiences are listed and what skills you achieved in these particular work workplaces would be mentioned here clearly in second type of hybrid resume you firstly you would mention all the types of business skills which you have acquired and after that you would mention your work experience but the skill sets are also there and chronological order is also there so both the things are combined here work experience and educational background would be mentioned in descending chronological order as always moving on to the fourth type of traditional resume which is a scannable resume scannable resume is something which can be instantly scanned using ocr technique optical character recognition if you don't know 
here an entire page can be directly converted to a text document okay companies generally ask for these type of documents if they want to create quick digital copies nowadays they just ask for mailing a pdf but scannable resumes too are in here you would be writing text in plain text format which can be easily scanned using any camera or ocr technique which is freely provided by google okay let me give you some tips for creating a scannable resume first and foremost make sure that you use plain text no decorative fonts no bold no italics no underlines make sure you have white spaces when a particular topic ends proper white spaces make sure that there is proper character spacing font size must be minimum 11 maximum 14 that's it secondly make sure that scannable resumes do not have any tables no graphics no shadows it would just make the scanning purpose difficult so nothing fancy just plain thirdly make sure that you use very limited jargon you can use jargon but only related to that specific industry nothing very elaborate or nothing too deep or nothing too out of the industry okay last but not the least make sure that in the scannable resume the candidate's name is written clearly on the top of the resume that way the tips about making scannable resumes let us move further and try to understand the non traditional resumes this is the exciting part here non traditional resumes are something which are used very definitely in this modern world first and foremost who doesn't know about linkedin okay this is one of the many social media platforms which is used to connect employers here you can easily get jobs from connections of connections your linkedin profile speaks a lot about you to your prospective employer so make sure that you make a very beautiful linkedin profile to attract your employer also students linkedin has a set of connections where you can ask your connections to grade your projects to make sure that everyone reviews the projects you have done this will help you if you are applying somewhere else or moving on to a new job moving further the second type of non traditional resume is an infographic resume as the name suggests it is information combined with amazing graphics all the skills in form of a pie chart all the programs you know in form of bar charts your educational qualifications your experience in form of a timeline sounds exciting right it would sound exciting to your employer too so try doing something new try making infographic resumes they would attract attention because they contain lot of graphics and who doesn't like graphics third type of resume is a portfolio resume here you can include your entire past projects and past works along with your resume to showcase your best works to your employer mostly creative people use portfolio resumes where they include all their past photographs all their past projects nowadays it is a trend to make a digital portfolio you will just give your website to your employer just check my website i have all my works listed there along with good photographs the last type of resume would be video resumes hi my name is emily rose doty i'm looking for a full time territory manager position I feel my personality would be best utilized in this position because I'm extremely outgoing, I'm very driven, and I have an amazing work ethic. Well, I'm currently a branch manager for Wells Fargo Financial, which is the consumer lending division of Wells Fargo Bank. I manage 10 employees, and three out of my four assistant managers actually have been promoted to the management level with only one year, uh, which normally would be about a two to three year period. In my first year as a sales manager, I received the quarterback of the year award. On the regional level, I also received star performer nominee. As far as branch production, we also receive branch of the year all within the same year. My branch actually tells me that I would run through a brick wall to get the job done. If you're looking to increase sales production, develop your employees and retain them, I am the person for the job. This was just a 47 second video resume, but very informative, right? That is what you are aiming for. 
as the name suggests everyone would be knowing what is a video resume here is where you would create a video introducing yourself and your credentials for a particular job it is just a short clip of 1 to 2 minutes which would describe you and how you would be a good candidate good prospective candidate for the said job here you can define verbally your skills and your different achievements gone are the days of a piece and paper not even a website video is the best option before you go and make the video resume make sure that you remember some of the pointers dress formally good clothes clean neat and tidy as she is very confident because here you are giving an interview of your confidence as well a return resumes do not show that but video resumes do show that make sure that there is no background noise when you are recording this video make sure that you have a clear background when you are recording this video that's it and you are good to go use your amazing communication skills and make an amazing video resume i am sure you would stand apart from the long line of candidates for your dream job that was all from my side students thank you so much for such patiently listening to me this is ruby but signing off until next time bye bye